if you've been to any of the Gulf states, you've probably noticed a large number of Asian servants and workers there. However, it is rare that people there discuss their lives and struggles. Saud al Sanawisi, a brave and compassionate young Kuwaiti author, gives that subtle crowd a voice through his bamboo stalk. Good morning, this is Maryam al Bakr from Channel 360 with another book review. The Bamboo Stock is a retelling of a half-Filipino, half-Kuwaiti teen story who moves from an impoverished life in the Philippines to the paradise of his father's Kuwait. Despite the major differences that exist between the two cultures, the book's depth is reached through the way the writer explains the Kuwaiti society in great detail in comparison with the Gulf Arabs' relationship to migrant labor. The novel received a wide praise in Arabic, winning the International Prize for Arabic Fiction in 2013. The bamboo stock opens in the Philippines before the narrator's birth, with the story of his conception being told to him by his mother. The prose is so easy and straightforward that it reads like a young adult novel. But this lack of sophistication allows for the readers to understand the struggles that the main character faces. The simplicity of the language shows how little the narrator knows about Kuwait. This is helpful for the English language readers, as instead of just explaining what Bidun means, which is without citizenship rights, it is explained through the prose. It is the book's social critique that has probably granted it the renowned prize. The social critique is obvious, as Isa presents his struggles of finding his identity between a Gulf aristocrat and a half-poor Filipino laborer. But the most interesting part of the story begins when Isa becomes rich, which brings him great disappointment. The bamboo stock works against the idea of coming to a rich country and succeeding. In the end, Isa has to choose between a difficult life near his wealthy family in Kuwait and a less wealthy one in the Philippines. Let me leave it at that so that you can enjoy your time reading the novel without knowing the ending. This is Maryam Obak from Channel 360.